Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, in the last episode, we had a very violent, drunken time in the woods and killed some people. And we are still searching for Pi. We're at the camp where we were hanging out with Hans when we were originally hunting hares. And it looks like Pi ran off to the area where that abandoned camp was along the uh, riverside. So let's go ahead and grab pebbles and head that way. And I would assume that Pi would be right in that area. Maybe we need to go ahead and uh, have a chat with the charcoal burners on the way to see maybe they saw something. Because apparently, Pi is a very noticeable horse. Are we going the right way? Yes, we are. We'll stop at the charcoal camp and see if they have any uh, information that we can glean. And then head off into the unknown. I hope someone didn't bolt with Pi. Because I assume that a chase like this would actually end in a fight. That's just what I assume, at least. It's raining again, as, as per normal. I don't think I would know what to do if uh, it weren't rainy here in this game. Alrighty. And down we go. God save you, Henry. Oh, he knows my name. Is our reputation growing? God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? Uh, maybe. Have you seen a horse around here? A dapple grey? Certainly have. He ran past here heading upstream. Thistle went after him and hasn't come back yet. Thistle? A local charcoal burner. None too smart. We call him Thistle. Right. Well, thank you. Well, that's something. Must be really popular with uh, donkeys named Eeyore. Maybe he's named Thistle. Alright, so... I bet Thistle took him to that abandoned camp. Yep, I'm calling my shot. And apparently I look horrible and need to bathe. I don't think I'm going to find huh, any area with water near the charcoal burners. Actually, I figured that would be a really good place to uh, find water. And I don't think we can actually bathe in the stream. You figure that you could. We might try that here as soon as we... Uh, Track down Pi. Hopefully we get that opportunity. Okay, the clearing was over here on this side of the river. If memory serves. Or it may not serve us correctly. I'm not sure. Hmm. Where are you, Pi? Oh, should we be looking for... We should be looking for horse apples, shouldn't we? Oh. I see you. Hey there, Pi. How's it going? You must be Thistle. Hi. I'm glad to see you. I'm afraid this horse is a runaway from the Ujit stables. You can't have it. Fuck off! I don't care where he escaped from. Go find your own horse. Um... No? You're a thistle, aren't you? I? Do I know you? No. But as I was looking for that horse, I came across the charcoal camp, and they spoke of you. And what did they say? Oh, they were laughing at you. They seemed to think you were some kind of moron for leaving your stuff unguarded. They were laughing at me? The bastards! Thanks, friend. Anytime. Oh, did we just avoid a fight? Yep, I guess we did. Hey there, Pi. Let's inspect. Not too fast. But the capacity is much higher. Okay, please don't buck me off. Now I suppose we have to go ahead and travel... Oh, we got another 
potential quest giver over there. I'm trying to find all the mini quests so we can go ahead and get those out of the way. Not necessarily out of the way, but I would like to go ahead and do them. So we'll head north and turn left on the road. And that should take us all the way back to the stables. Cool. Provided Pi doesn't make this uh, trip interesting. Definitely a slower horse. But that also might be... Due oh no, I've got the uh, racehorse perk. Technically, Pi should be just as fast. Oh well, they've had a rough day. I'll, I'll forgive them. Could we just run through the forest here? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We might as well explore this fog of war up here. Where nothing bad could possibly happen. Oh, another deer hunting spot. Neat. Tons of deer hunting spots out here. Trying to see if there's any other villages or something nearby. I know there's apparently a really large village um, unexplored. Oh. Well, we have found some more buildings. And I am not even sure what that is. What we got? Ooh. Looks like one of the uh, trees from Game of Thrones just carved into a post. The world is so rich. That's the thing that really uh, intrigues me about this game. There's another one. I wonder what's significant about this area. Huh. There might be a quest to go find all the interesting sites. I bet that would be it. And this part of the map actually has some dirt on it. Well... Let's stick to our brief here. Keep on keeping on. And yeah. Let's head straight to B. I'm not sure what that post was for. That's a hay bale. Not sure what kind of plants these are. I haven't even touched, like, um, herb gathering. I have a friend of mine who plays this game, and he tells me that there is a potion that you can brew early in the game to give you some huge boosts right off the beginning. But if you played as far into the plot as I have, it's kind of not really worth it, they said. I feel quite hungry. Oh, okay. Well, we can get some food. Well, no, I've got some jerky. We're in good shape. Going to go off-road, deliver pie here. I guess that's probably why Henry is hungry. He just keeps on getting reminded about pie. And can you jump the fence? <laughs> no. Fine, we're going to have to walk. We're going to have to go all the way around. I wonder what we're going to get out of this. Hopefully some coin. Got quite a bit of coin. But I assume buying um, places to sleep, it adds up after a bit. Okay, we need to go ahead and drop him off to Vashik, I believe his name was. Was that a cat? Sorry, I saw something move in the brush and I was just like, are there cats in this game? Elusive kitties? Here we go. Is this where we drop him off? Return Pi to the stables. Okay. And nothing to say. Vashik. Hey, Vashik. Good day to you. What do you need? Um, the horse is having a seizure behind you. Where's the steward, or, or the head groom? There we go. Good day to you. With your little raiden hat. 
I found pie for you. Dear God! What a relief! Between ourselves, he was none too cheap. I don't know what I'd have done if he was gone for good. Here's something for your trouble. Thank you. Just try not to lose him again. <laughs> we'll do our best. You got... Caparison, whatever that is, and 80 Gorshin. Nice. I don't know what that... Is that armor for, uh... Pebbles? Ooh, let's go ahead and see that. First off, let's get some food in us. Ooh, we got bacon. Always a good decision. And we'll eat the bread. And make sure that we do not drink any more wine. That is our That was our problem. Um, thank you for letting me know in the comments. I took that perk that makes me a heck of a beer drinker. But wine really hits me where it matters. So... Alright, move to horse. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! That's what I did. Whoopsie. How do we... Carpenter's axe, knights... Yeah, I wanted to move the shield back. And... Inventory. Plain bridle, plain saddle. So it has armor and stuff too. That is awesome. And we are right at the edge of, um... Oh, we got blood on our sword. That's probably why they were kind of distressed. Armor? Would that be... With us? Yes, it would be. Oh, look at that. Huh. I got some armor for my noble steed. And it's wearing the uh, orange and yellow, just like the tabard. I like it. Okay, well the fact that we are so incredibly burdened tells me that we need to go ahead and sell some of our stuff. Where are you, buddy? Oh, look at you. Definitely worth it. Okay, Pebbles. Off we go. How much gold do we have? Or Gorshin? I would assume a bit. 405. Okay. Not as much as I was thinking. So what we need to do here is we need to head somewhere with a blacksmith that we can go ahead and sell all of our uh, coin. And Talenberg. Does Talenberg have a blacksmith? I don't know. We do have a quest here in Talenberg. I was trying to remember we do have a general trader we could sell stuff off to and what is that hold on in terms of quests a skin oh that's the tanner okay well we don't need to really chat with the tanner as of yet we do need to bring hair skin though Hmm. Well, oh, we also have playing with the devil, the uh, woman who is the herb woman who's selling the wanting to use a magic ointment, risking their lives and immortal souls. Yeah, the priest sent us on that. I think I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I think we're going to um, tr fast travel back to Rate. And we're going to start doing a lot of the missions and stuff that we have been neglecting. See, we've got like two activity givers over here as well. And we need to go ahead and buy wine from the merchant here in the first place. So let's go to the mill. And this is going to be a long trip. Let's see if the road is blocked along the way. Because suddenly we, we can get randomly attacked here during the fast travel. Survey says... Oh, nice. Not a problem. We're going to go ahead and take the job from the miller that we probably should have done from the beginning. Because he teaches you how to be better at like lockpicking and, and other such things. And we also got uh, Teresa here as well. 
First things first, let's go ahead and wash off all this blood. There we go. Okay, Peshik. Teach me how to pick law. Oh, well, let's just go down the line here first. Try unlocking this trunk. Oh, he goes right to the training, doesn't he? Neat. Hold the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumbler. In your left hand, you hold the blade and use it to turn the whole mechanism at the right moment. It's quite easy. It only takes a bit of practice. Now try poking around in the lock with the pick until you feel the right point where the tumbler is. Okay. Oh. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, you'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over again. <laughs> no pressure then. Ah, okay. I see. Kind of. You forced it and broke the lockpick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and try to use the mouse here and see if I can do it like this. Ah, all right. Man, I am horrible at this. All right, so. I don't think I'm, I think I'm missing the overall, uh, okay, there's the sweet spot. Hmm. Let me go to help here real quick. One lockpick in the inventory, oh, it's better start actual lockpick by holding A, then you have to use the lockpick L to turn the whole lock mechanism. At the same time, you have to coordinate the movement of the lockpick with the rotation of the mechanism because the rotation shifts the position of the sweet spot. So we just have to follow it along. Okay, I think... Kind of like so. Yowza. Ah, okay. I get it. I get it, I get it. <laughs> Reality dawned. Do you like that? So it's just right there. We have to... Just follow it along the entire pathway. <laughs> this is me using the, the... Wow, that is incredibly... He reached a new level in lockpicking. Okay, well, this is how we learn it. So maybe I need to take my time here. He's had enough of me. He's like, nope, you're done. I don't have a lockpick. Yeah, he just... No, I'm done. I'm done with you. I've had my... Had my fill. Alright, well... Can you tell me... Oh, we could get all the information here. Do we want to talk about that, though? Most of it we already know. Sure, why not? What's the local lord like? Sir Hanush? He treats his people well, but he's tough as an old oak. The way things are these days, I wouldn't wonder if he and his men started kicking some asses. What's Sir Han's cape on, like? Ah, that worthless dandy. Sir Hanush has to knock some sense into him, or I dread to think what will become of this place when he takes over. Well, he got a uh, thrashed last time that we hung out with him. He seemed to have kind of changed his tune, but I guess we'll see. Do you know Sir Bernard, the rat eye captain? He's a grumpy bastard, but fair, I'd say. 
What about the Scalets, folk? God sent them to punish us for our sins. They don't work, they just idle around begging. And you want to keep a close eye on your belongings when they're around. I'll be glad to see the back of them. What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters. But this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. Trying to ingratiate myself to him. Do you know anything about those Cumans? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. Correct. That's all. Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Wojtek in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Tell me about Wojtek. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. Miller versus Merchant. What about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through, even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do, and I hope I live to see peace in this land again. And make a little money on the side. Would you teach me something about the, uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own? Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind Kay. the mill where we won't be seen. You weren't paying attention to me lockpicking, were you? Go behind the mill with Peshik. I guess we're going to learn how to pickpocket. I thought that he would, uh, we'd have to prove ourselves. But we did pay off his debt, though. Oh. Okay. Do we even have the mission here anymore? Hold on. Quest log. Yeah, the good thief. Or the good thief. Never mind. We can take the job if we want to. Hopefully, Therese is not sitting here watching us go about our business. And it looks like set sunset. Fortunately, we're near a bed, so we can crash out fairly early. Can we actually... Hold on. Do 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 do. <laughs> okay. I was curious how far that was going to go. Oh no, am I stuck here? Wait, wait, wait. Up. Sorry, I was distracted. Apologies. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you, and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out, carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. Pickpocketing is no joking matter. If you're caught with your fingers in someone else's purse, either by a victim or by a witness, they'll raise the alarm and you'll be pursued as a thief. In order to rob someone successfully, you first have to sneak up on them unnoticed, then by holding A, begin pickpocketing. The first step is to grope around inside the purse by holding A. That's not easy, especially if your victim is on the move. The longer you can grope, the more time you will then have to select what you want. In order to then steal, you have to exceed the minimum time for groping, which you will recognize by the background of the rose changing color from red to green. The amount of time you have left for the second stage of stealing is shown by the number in the middle of the rosette. Keep an eye on the color of the rosette. When it's light green, your victim has no chance of catching you, but as it starts to get darker and turn red, your chances of getting caught in the act increase. 
Good grief. Alrighty. Hmm. Alright. We'll see what happens. Do -do 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 -do. So. We sneak up. In our armor. Clankity clank. Ooh. Is that how long we have to go? Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Okay. Pickpocket. Oh, I see, I see. Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Okay. I understand now. So we stop right before it gets bad. And reveal and take. Right? Oh, we got to exit out. It's like a mini game. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pashek. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Yeah. We parted with Pashek's dagger. Okay, cool. And... Lock picking again, please? I hear you're able to open locks without a key. Will you teach me how? Certainly. I've got lockpicks to burn. Um, beginner? I'd like to practice the basics. Alright, but it'll cost you. Oh, lord. 60? Negative. Maybe another time. I do need to learn how to do that, though, for sure. Okay, well. Let's end the dialogue for right now. At least we got pit pocketing down. Just the lockpicking. <laughs> the skill that would actually come in handy in real life were I a good person. You know, if I'd lock myself out of something. That's fine. But pickpocketing, that's really where the talent lies. Okay, bells are going off. Where's Teresa? Hello. How are you doing, ma'am? Hmm. So, uh, how have you been? I can't stop thinking about Scarlet's. I know. It was hell. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? That's not a bad idea. It's getting too late now. But if you pick me up during the day, I'll be glad to take a walk with you. Ah, okay. As her ladyship commands. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you jester. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take a walk in the morning, guys. So I will go ahead and sleep here, and um, we will pick it up next time, and we'll go for a walk with Teresa and see where that takes us, and maybe actually learn how to successfully uh, lockpick something, which I doubt. But hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.